So a quick summary of fractions to decimals to percents. You divide the top number by the bottom number to get a decimal. You multiply the decimal by 100 to get a percent. So the easy example, 3 over 4. I'm going to go 3 divided by 4, which will give us 0 0.75. All right, and that's my decimal. To get to my percent, I'm going to go 0 0.75 times 100 is going to give me 75 percent. So 3 over 4 is the same thing as 0 0.75, which is the same thing as 75 percent. And you guys have seen this up on the board a lot of times when I'm doing problems. I'll give you the answer in all three forms. So that's how you go forwards. Now the other thing I was saying was basically you're going to go backwards. If you want to convert a percent into a fraction, you do just the opposite. The opposite if of multiply is divide. So you write the percentage out divided by 100. So percent divided by 100 and reduce in the lowest term. So again, if we use our last example, our percent was 75 over 100. Now, what can we divide into both these numbers? Well, we can divide 5. I'm going to skip. I'm just going to say we can divide 25 into both of these numbers. So I divide the top by 25. I divide the bottom by 25. And that's going to give us all right, 3 times 25 is 75. 4 times 25 is 100. 3 over 4. And that's reduced to lowest terms. Always remember to do so. Now, just keep going backwards. You want to convert a percent into a decimal, you finish the calculation. So like we wrote it out last time, well, our first example was percent over 75, so we did 75 over 100, right? which is the same as 75 divided by 100, which will give you 0 0.75. The example up here, 56 percent, so it becomes 56 over 100, which becomes 0 0.56. Okay, so that's the basic tutorial of how to convert back and forth between these percentages. You can go back and review any section of this tutorial to make sure that you have understand you do have a good understanding of it. Then what I want you to do is start in the worksheet on converting between fractions, decimals, and percents. Once you've finished that worksheet, you're going to move on to using percents uh, with money. So percentage discounts, percentage increases, etc. And that'll be the next tutorial that I'd like you guys to watch online. Anyways, best of luck with the worksheet, and I will see you guys in a week.